Hello everyone, it's Shiny Sparky, and welcome to more Final Fantasy IV, the After Year. So last time, well, we finally got our final party ready, and we are going to be heading off to the final dungeon. So, in between parts, I did grind a lot, because I said, you know, that you really should do this. You should try and get your weakest party member to a little bit over level 30, or level 30 at the minimum. I got it to level 32. Yang, I got, I got him there. And poor him, you know, 33. So, yeah, that's my party. And, um... Also, in between parts, I did uh, organize my inventory. I sold all my junk items that I don't need. Basically, I sold everything except my ribbons, like in terms of weapons and armor. And uh, the King's Sword, you have to keep it. And then Hyperist and Talismans, um, the reason I have them here is because currently everybody has the level band equipped. All five, so yeah. And uh, I also bought a bunch of... I bought Remedies, I sold all my other stuff that cures status elements and just go with Remedies to make it a bit easier. And now, Silver Apples. I'm going to use them on, um, I think Porum. In Final Fantasy IV, it was better to use them on Rydia, but in here, White Mage is a bit more uh, important for survival in later parts of this game, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, put them on Porum. Dude, I meant to use the Soma Drops, too. Soma Drops, I'm going to put them on Rydia, though. She's going to be using, like, freaking massive, like, powerful summons later in the game, and, wow, you'll see. Okay. So that's that, and uh, yeah, let's do it. I believe we are ready to tackle on the final dungeon, which is actually an extremely long dungeon, I must say. Extremely long. Alright, let's go over here. The only other place to go. Now, in between parts, I did actually go in here. I entered here, because you can actually, well, get some nice encounters. Like, they give more experience. So that's kind of why the whole symbol appeared in the map, you know. So, here we are. This dungeon resembles the final dungeon, Lunar Subterrain of, well, Final Fantasy IV, and here it's just called Subterrain. We're in B1. So this whole B1 room actually does not have any encounters, believe it or not. Yeah, pretty crazy. So, I'm going to begin by going this way, to a secret passage over here, and uh, let's see, how do I traverse this? Like this, and there we go. Okay. But yeah, like I was saying. This first place does not have any uh, encounters, although pretty much every place after this does. Sorry about that, I'm moving the microphone here a bit. Yeah, so, um, I guess you gotta be happy, be grateful that this very, that this first place does not have any stuff. Oh, X potion ice, okay. I will take it. Yeah, so, uh, this pathway here has two chests, we already got one, the X potion, and the second one is the Genji armor, which is an upgrade for, you can equip it. Nope, nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Okay, let's see. That's an upgrade. What about you? Hmm. Nah. I'm gonna give you this. The Genji armor. There we go. Nice upgrade already. Okay. Time to go all the way back to the starting point. Normally I would cut this if there were battles in the way, but you know what? It's just a pathway. It might take like a minute or so, but it's fine. It is okay. <sighs> like I said, people, this game... It's long. It is by far the longest Final Fantasy game I've done on this channel because Final Fantasy 1 took 60 videos, but that's because during that time I was doing much shorter videos. If I actually do the math and like even it out to uh, 20 minute videos each, it would be around 35 videos. Which is actually the same length as Final Fantasy 2 and 3, you know, but whatever. Alright, so next place is um, I want to move to the left side over here. Right over the hell here. Yes. Yeah, guys, but like Final Fantasy IV took 45 videos, this one is already up to 57 videos. That's ridiculous, and we're still not finished yet. It's crazy. It really is. Okay. So in here... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I gotta go... To, oh, damn it. A very, very, very long pathway here. I mean, not much else to say, right? Another... T what the hell? Oh, yeah, their own counter here is B2, of course. Ooh, look at this. Some enemies. Let's go ahead and attack. You can attack. Yang can just, like, freaking attack too, and I don't know. Okay, you're dead. No, you... Man, freaking magic animations take too long. Black magic. Let's get a Blizzara on you, and then you can just, like... Whoops, I didn't mean to attack with Porum. Well, God damn it. Wrong one. There we go. You're dead, just like that. And we got 3,100 experience, but no level ups yet. Alright, let's keep going. 
Okay, so in here we're going to be getting a chest, I believe. Very soon. What the hell am I... Where am I going? It's like... Oh, jeez. I'm telling you, there are so many like optional ways to go here that you get so damn lost sometimes. Man. Okay, so this spot right here is the place where we fought the, uh, was it the Holy Dragon or something in Final Fantasy IV? But yeah, it was guarding a freaking thing, but in here, nope. There's no guard, right? I believe there is not. Oh, shoot. You and your freaking garbage, man. Alright, you know what? Just auto, seriously. I can kill these guys. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Black Magic, Blizzard. Actually, I was already autoing. What am I... No, stop attacking with Porm. I'm so dumb when I do that. I don't, I don't mean to do that, people. I really don't. Auto! Kill you. Yes. Okay. 3,203. Gold base levels up and learns Quake. Cane levels up and... Ooh. Silver Protection has leveled up. Nice. Let's go to Magic now. Get some cures. And there we go. Now, this chest right here contains... The Mighty Bloodlands. Now, the Bloodlands in here... I'm gonna show you. Decreases your stats because it basically, you know, heals, of course, every time you attack. Overall, I don't like it. I don't. But yeah, that's why we came here. For the freaking Bloodlands. Not kidding you. And I know you're like, well, what was the point of coming here if you were not gonna equip that thing anyways? Well, that's because I want to get almost every chest in this game. I want to say every chest, but I'm pretty sure I've already missed a few, you know, here and there, so... Yeah, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Oh well, though. I mean, it's not like I can go back to those tales. Actually, you can, but yet, then you would have to restart the Crystal's Tale to load the save file from that one. So, it's complicated, but whatever. Alright, just auto. I can do this. These guys are freaking simple. Actually, I shouldn't be attacking with Porum, though. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Porum actually... <laughs> Oh my god, Porum. You are freaking amazing. Porum actually killed a damn enemy with her attack. I mean, no complaints there, right? Definitely not. Okay, let's get out of here now. We are back in B1. Actually, wait, very soon. Very soon we will. Okay, here we are. Let's just take this secret passage back out, and... Now it is time to finally progress. So we explored... The two areas on the sides, and doing very well now. And here you get a scene. Basically, Kane approaches it and just says, "Oh, there's a crystal here, and yeah, that's it." The reason why I didn't activate it is because I went right here. This place right here, B2, was my grinding spot. I couldn't grind the B1 for obvious reasons. There's no encounters, so that's why I had to. It's like a freaking five-second scene, which is why I'm not too, you know, like I'm not freaking out that I missed it on screen. Okay, now here I want to... Oh, shoot. I'm trying to get, um... You know, I do that. Do a Kira. Target all. And now auto. Okay, then. There we go. Now, I believe from this point, I can just be autoing every time. Yang level up. Porum level up. Sweet. More level ups are always nice. Okay then, let's keep going now to the freaking darkness, which, um, you know, we can't really see anything. There's a- oh man, another encounter? Oh no, 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 Shoot, should I run? Damn it! You freaking killed Porum, you cheater. God, hate it when that happens. So much. You're gonna absorb that, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Hell no, run! Run! Thank you. Whenever you encounter that dude, make sure to run, because, let me tell you, by this point in the game, uh, it's kind of hard. That Frost Blast really does kill you, especially when the freaking other enemies are picking on Porum, you know? So, whatever. Cures again, a bunch. I'm gonna need a ton of freaking cures. There we go. So, as I was saying, this right here leads to, um, a chest somewhere, like this, and then go up. No, up. Dude! Up, and then this way, there we go. Chest contains a Genji shield, oh my god, that's amazing. Let's see, so you have a diamond shield? Sure. Give you the Genji set, you know? You're gonna be having the, the mighty Genji set. Alright, now it's time to go back over here. What the hell am I doing? I hate traversing this place. 
So damn hard. And mages. Damn mages. Okay then. You know what? I'm gonna drink some water right now. Ah, oh, tasty, refreshing, delicious, savory. Actually, it's not savory now. I mean, the thing is, you can't really use those words to describe water. Because, like, in a way, water is considered tasteless, you know? So it, like, it doesn't have any taste, so you can't really say water is delicious. You can say it's refreshing, but you can't say it's delicious, because it just doesn't have taste, you know? And when you say delicious, you're implying that it has a good taste. At least that's what I would... Dude! How do I get over there, you freaking piece of trash? God damn it. Kill these things, man. Kill them fast. Kira? Actually, yeah, that, that's important. Just so I don't, yeah, so I don't have to be like wasting my cures, you know, after battles and wasting time, of course. 3,000 more experience, not bad. Okay, how the hell do I get there? Okay, like this, there we go. There's a chest here, which contains a decoy, okay. And now let's keep going. Over here, I believe there's a chest. Another one. Dude, get over there. That place is like so... I don't want to say glitchy, but like... It's um... It's misleading just how it looks. Because even though it's like open on the ground... The obstacle that's so raised on the wall, like it blocks you still. So like, it, I don't know how to explain it. But you have to like play it yourself to know what I'm talking about. Okay, ready levels up and cane levels up. Not bad. Lots of level ups. And then here we get a lustrous sword. What the hell? Isn't that a downgrade though? I believe it is. Okay, well you can't even equip it. You can. Well, no, actually it's more... Nah, but it lowers too many things. So, pss. I mean, it improves attack, but... It lowers too many other stats, so screw that. I mean, they're both holy elemental though. They are, so... It's not a bad thing. Ooh, look at that. There's, um... And, okay, this thing right here? The Interdimensional Matter Transporter. As I call it. Or, it's really, it's Interdimensional Elevator, but the thing is... Interdimensional Matter Transporter is from Yu-Gi-Oh, so, I uh, guess. <laughs> whatever. And here you can warp back to the Lunar Well, and now that I've activated this teleporter... You can teleport from the Lunar Well's Transporter here. You can also edit your party in these things, so yeah. But, for now, I'm not gonna use it. But here's a save. Sure, let's rest here. We get a scene. Whenever it asks you rest here, we're going to be getting a scene. So let's do it. Let's get a scene. Look at that. It's Theodore. So I guess all 22 members are traveling together. Even, even though only 5 are fighting. And here's Ursula. Okay then. How is King Cecil faring? He hasn't changed a bit. Oh, I see. But I have a strange feeling. I think he understands what is happening here. All of it. You've changed, Theodore. He's like, huh? Okay. The Theodore I knew always acted like there was a heavy burden placed on his shoulders. The burden that of being the Prince of Baron. No, the burden of having Cecil and Rosa's blood in his veins. You're right. It always made me wonder. Why did you never feel a sense of pride about your family? I guess I had to learn how to. From whom? From Cain and Biggs and Wedge and from all the people my father once fought with I always hoped that you would learn it for yourself I suppose my father did too come to think of it don't worry I'm sure your father will be back to normal in no time. Thanks. Okay, well... We learned the Twin Rush Band. Pretty good scene, I guess. You know, we're gonna be getting a lot of these, actually. 
of like the party members bonding a bit, you know, with each other. So it's nice. It really is. Okay, we are done here. Hurry up. The hell. Let's, uh, should I use a tent? Oh wait, oh, I'm already full heal. Okay, yeah. You get a, you get a full heal whenever you rest here. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this save file. There we go. And I guess we gotta continue, so. Um, we are on our way to, well, let me see, I'm trying to think of what, okay, whatever, never mind. I'm going to come over here first, because I believe there's a chest on this side. Yes, there is. What could it be? Fuma Shuriken. Wait a minute, I thought there was one on the other side, too. Damn it! I thought there was, what am I doing? Or actually, maybe not. I don't know. Let's, let's take a look. Shoot, man! Oh, more of these guys. More of these dudes. Osmos, I don't care. Yeah, I guess eventually I'm going to be cutting more battles out too, you know, just because it's going to get pretty boring and repetitive, but I think for this video, I'm going to be keeping it like this for a while, you know, it, it's fine. It really is. Fyraga. Okay. That doesn't do too much. Alright. Yang and Porum level up. See, they always level up together. Yang and Porum. They're like, they're on par with their levels and their experience as to like how... How much it is for the next level up. Okay, nothing here. What I want to do then is, um, somewhere down here. I gotta go. Damn it. Oh my god, and we get ambushed too. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me, game? <sighs> You're your pathetic garbage, seriously. Okay, at least kill that one. Yes, thank you. Let me run. Yes. I dropped money, but you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. Because, like, seriously. It's much better to survive and lose money than die, you know? So, whatever. Now, I'm gonna come down here. This way. And let's see here. Okay, here's a chest. And it contains an ether. I believe if we keep going, though, um, there's gonna be some more stuff. How do I keep going, though? Oh, like this. God, it's so damn out of the way. Oh, that's a new enemy, right? It's, um... Oh, no, what am I doing? Oh, oh you know what? Screw that. Just... Wow. I don't even care. So you should never attack those guys physically, the flans. The very strange thing about the flans is that like their defense is so massive that it feels like they you always do one damage. Even if I'm like a level 99 with max strength, it feels that I'm still going to be doing pretty pathetic in attack power. As soon as uh, you okay, let's go. Gotta hurry this up because I'm already I'm already at 18 minutes. I haven't even fought the first boss of this freaking place. Do you realize this, this game is gonna take like 70 videos? Actually, more than that. No, 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 no. Attack! They do it in the back, man. Who the hell has 11 HP? Stop picking on one person, you stupid enemies! God damn it! D don't you dare! You better not freaking kill Radia. Or else I'm gonna be so pissed off. Okay, thank God. Kill him. Kill him. There. Jeez, man. Okay, more experience. Thank you very much. And let's get some cures. Who the hell just came here? Oh, sorry. My car parked outside. And I was like, what? What? Okay, so there's a thing here somewhere. This. Genji gloves. Alright. Let's equip that on. Hmm, well, I mean, they're- no, never mind. Yeah, by the way, the reason I have the level band is because right now the enemies are not too tough, so I can actually afford to just equip the level band. I don't need the bonus stats from, you know, my talismans and hyperis right now. I don't. Okay, now that we're done here, it is finally- oh my god, go over there, I hate these secret passageways. The, like, the secret passageways that are like, you know, like that, pure black. They're one of my least favorite parts. Least favorite, actually. Most hated, yeah. The most hated parts about Final Fantasy games to me. Like, when you're walking on pure black, it's like, what the hell is this, man? Seriously? Like, really? And Yang levels up, and Goldez, and Kane, but not Porum. Wait, did Porum level up last time? Um, no, she didn't. She's close, though. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, let's keep let's keep going then. 
Gotta take these damn stairs, you know? Take them! Oh, shoot. Not another stupid encounter. What the hell? Kill them. Kill the damn enemies. Okay, we're at 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna be ending this very soon. You gotta hurry up. Alright then, there we go. Some more experience. Portal levels up. Yes, that's sweet. And it is time to take these stairs now. And we are in Baron Castle. Oh, damn. You guys are like, what the hell is this? Yeah, this dungeon is weird. It combines Lunar Subterrain with, like, memories of other places, so it's definitely strange, to say the least, but that's how it works. Okay. So here there are three chests, and you can't go to other places, so let's just take these chests and then keep going up north to the throne room. I believe there are stone counters here, though. There should be. Alright, there's a crystal right here, but I'm gonna be, um, examining it next time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Get some cures. Okay, next time, we will examine this crystal and see what the hell it is. So, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.